welcome back to beauty with bella if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by i do appreciate it and if you're not new welcome back fam welcome back i am bella and i talk about all things beauty related um a lot of fragrances because that's my jam and if you guys can see if you have been on my channel a lot you notice i usually film in a different space this is my bedroom because today I am going to be talking about my favorite bedtime fragrances thus far. Things change, but right now, these are the fragrances that I wear to bed. I have on no makeup. This is just me and my PJs. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm wearing my pajamas. And um, yeah, I got my candle going. I got my chai tea, spicy. So good. and. If you're interested in seeing what I wear to bed, then keep watching. You know what? If somebody would have asked me last year in 2020, what do you wear to bed? I would have been like, what? What do you mean? What perfume do you wear to bed? Like, this is what I would normally wear, which I still do wear this. Uh, Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy. I love how that smells. And I would take a shower and I would put it on my body and I will go to bed. But now, things have changed, I've evolved, and I have certain perfumes that I just love to wear to bed. And the first one is Clean Reserve Skin. They have different fragrances. This is their skin fragrance. I saw this in one of Andrea Renee's Sephora haul videos back in the summer. And I decided to get it and I I learned about skin scents when I got this because I'm like I can't hardly smell this but this is a very close to the skin scent it's got this uh, sweet woody kind of fragrance musky a little bit but it's not a loud scent it, there's not a lot of projection going on there is no lingering sillage in the air very close to the skin scent I will put the notes up for you guys it's got like this um, it has praline in it I think and musk it's a very light clean scent and it's a vegan friendly scent so uh, if you're into vegan friendly fragrances this would be for you this actually reminds me of fresh clean laundry like straight out the dryer that's what this scent reminds me of it just gives me that vibe whenever I wear it so I will wear this like after I get out the shower I'll spread on my body or you know if I'm just around the house and I'm not trying to do too much on that day I'll pull this out I really love it as you can see I put a decent dent in here and yeah this is, uh, you can get this from Sephora. I'll put the link down below. I love it. Clean Reserve Skin. The next one that I really have been enjoying lately is uh, Tiffany & Co. And as you can see, I put a dent in it. I usually wear this in the summertime though. Oh, this is like a fresh, citrusy, clean, feminine scent when i wear this it's like uh shania twain man i feel like a woman this is just one of those scents it's like it has lemon in it and um orange and it has like a rose in it i believe and i'll put the notes up for you guys it's just like it's clean fresh sparkly it's just so nice and when I wear when I decide what fragrance I'm gonna wear to bed is based off of the mood that I'm in this puts me in a happy mood I love the bottle too I just think it's just really elegant I love this perfume I've loved it for a long time this was actually a gift to myself on my birthday last year and I just really love this fragrance so when I wear it to bed it's just like oh it smells so good so Tiffany and Co the next one guys I wear to bed I'm sure if you are heavy into the fragrance community 
you will know what I'm talking about when I say this. I brought this because of Jeremy Fragrance. Jeremy Fragrance said this was one of the top 10 fragrances for sexy ladies. If you want to be sexy ladies, wear this fragrance. And I'm like, yeah, I want to be sexy. I know it's a pandemic, but I still want to be sexy. And I brought this. Um, Jimmy Choo Illicit. I hope you guys can see this. And when I brought it, I didn't feel like I was sexy with this fragrance. I'm sorry, Jeremy, but it didn't really do it for me that much. Like, I like how this smells, but it wasn't like a top performer for me. And maybe I need to give it another chance instead of just wearing it to bed. But um, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to wear it to bed. And that's basically what it's for because it doesn't last that long on my skin. But it does smell pretty good. It does. It's sweet. It has honey in it. It's supposed to have ginger in it. But I really don't smell the ginger in here. Um, it's, it's just mostly sweet to me. It's, it's just a sweet fragrance. Honey, caramel. Um, there's some vanilla in here and like I said, I'll leave some notes, but I've been using it for bed, which has been sufficient for me, um, uh, cause it does smell good. It's just not like beast mode. I was expecting something else maybe because Jeremy hyped it so much. So comment down below if Jeremy fragrance made you buy a perfume and it wasn't all that you thought it was gonna be. So yeah, this is Jimmy Choo illicit the next one guys I talked about in one of my uh, previous videos uh, and Fab Delicios by Dior I mean the the name speaks for itself oh my gosh it's just every time every time it's like oh it smells absolutely amazing. You get sweetness, you get smokiness, you get spiciness. It's like there are so many different things playing in my nose when I smell this. And when I've had a hard day, I run to this in Jesus. I really do. It's like... I just inhale it. I'm one of those people that um, I love to smell things that smell good to me or things that intrigue me. And things that smell good relaxes me. It puts me in a different space. And when I spray this on and I'm laying in my bed and I'm just like, oh, why? Why? Or I'm just trying to regroup and gather my thoughts. This is definitely the fragrance that I wear. I did look this up before I came online to film the video and it is out of stock right now, but you can always get on the waiting list like I did and wait for that email to tell you that uh, it's back in stock. I got it off of Dior.com and this is such a beautiful, rich, scent in my opinion I just I love everything about it I can't stop smelling it like I love it and I've already put started to put a dent in it because I'm telling you I wear this all the time and I just got it last month so Fab Delicios by Dior this next one um actually just started really loving this i think i said this in one of my other videos i did in my samples video that i was not a fan of this fragrance it was headache inducing there was a synthetic note in it that got on my nerves i tried to wear it a couple of times and i just i didn't like it but then i started thinking about it i purchased this fragrance in july and it was like super hot outside and so I decided to give it one more try. And if I didn't like it, I was going to get rid of it. And I sprayed it. And I was like, oh, I actually really like this. I really like this. And that is 
Ariana Grande Cloud. This, I have been really enjoying this fragrance. It is so, it's just, it smells really good. It smells sweet. It has whipped cream in it and I think vanilla orchid and lavender and I just really enjoy this fragrance. I can't wear it in the summertime because it would give me a headache. It's too sweet, but right now I am really loving it. And actually I, I have this on right now. It's the scent I'm wearing to bed, but I really love this. I'm not a fan of the packaging. I think the cloud is kind of childish and the cloud basic came on. I threw that away. I didn't like it. I'm, I'm too old for it, but it definitely smells good. And if you are familiar with fragrances, it's been compared to Baccarat Rouge 540 and I do have a sample of it. And they actually do smell quite similar, but Baccarat Rouge smells more luxe to me it's just it's in a class all by itself i'm sorry but um but this is a good dupe it's a good dupe but the baccarat rouge does smell better but i have really been enjoying this i've been wearing this to bed and i love the sweetness of it it's just like a relaxing sweetness with the lavender note i actually really love it so yeah ariana grande Clark. This last, no, next to last one, it's an honorable mention because I don't wear it a lot, but I do think it's a good time fragrance in addition to wearing it whenever. And that is the Mon Guerlain Sens Sensual. The lavender in here, oh, it smells good. It smells good and it's so relaxing to me. It's really relaxing. Like I might take a bubble bath and use my lavender bath salts and the bubble bath stuff. And then I would put um, this one, the um, Bath and Body Works Sleep, the lavender and chamomile. And then I spray this on and it just creates this whole vibe for me. It's just, it really really does like this is for those days where it's just I really need to relax that's what I would do those two combos together they just smell absolutely amazing and relaxing I don't do it often but I have done it a few times and I love 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 how this smells it's just it's so good it has the DNA of the original Mon Guerlain, but it has this sensual vibe to it that I just love. So this is like an honorable man. The last one, and this is my favorite, favorite, favorite one that I have been really enjoying, and that is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchide Vani. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Don't don't shoot me. But um, this one, guys. Do you see the dent in this bottle? I've had this maybe for about four months, and I've been. I use this all the time. It has vanilla. It has chocolate. It's supposed to be like a dark chocolate, but the chocolate note in here reminds me of the swiss miss hot chocolate powder the cocoa one that's what it kind of smells like to me and it has orange in here it smells absolutely this has got to be one of the most comforting scents i have ever smelled in my life like the combination of all the fragrances it just like it relaxes me to a whole different level when i smell this it reminds me of baking in the kitchen during thanksgiving or christmas time that's always a big deal for me i cook a whole lot and those the notes of that fragrance put together it just reminds me of cooking in the kitchen of the holidays i love 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 this fragrance um one of the reasons why I started wearing it to bed, besides the fact that it comforts me so much, 
is not a heavy hitter in my opinion. Um, I, you can wear this to work and probably not offend anybody. It turns into a, at least on my skin, it turns into a skin scent within three or four hours, but I don't care. I just love it. I love how it smells and I wear it to bed um, quite frequently. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And again, that is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchide Vani. And with all of these fragrances, with the exception of probably Jimmy Choo um, and Clean Reserve Skin, I wear these outside of bed as well, but I find them really relaxing and just calming to wear them to bed. It just, it puts me in a, in a different space, like I said. Those are my bedtime scents that I've been wearing and I've really been enjoying. Comment down below if you have a bedtime scent. What's your favorite bedtime scent? Give me some suggestions. I would love to hear what you guys are wearing to bed. Just talk to me. I talk back. Also, I am going on a no fragrance buy for the month of March. So once March hits, no more fragrances for me for that month. I just want to take my time to enjoy the fragrances that I have and decide what I want and what I don't want. That doesn't mean you won't see fragrance hauls from me though because I have some stuff that I have not shared with you guys yet, but I am doing a no March uh, fragrance by kind of giving it up for Lent too. Um, you have to, if you celebrate Lent, you give up something during Lent and I decided to just chill on the fragrance buying for um, that time, but like I said, you'll still see haul. So talk to me down below. Do you feel like you spend too much money on fragrances? Do you feel like you need to take a break and just see what you have and decide what you want to keep, what you want to declutter? Let's talk about it and let's talk about what are your favorite bedtime fragrances. And if you made it this far, guys, and you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Look at this face. Don't you want to subscribe to my channel? Don't you want to see when I upload videos? You do? Okay, hit the notification bell. So then you'll know when I upload my videos and comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. You could have watched any other video and you chose to watch mine. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.